For those of you who are interested, Elon Musk released his quarterly profit statements for Tesla and his other companies today, or in the last few days. I had a little listen to it. And can I just say, what an absolute fraudster that guy is. He must be the highest dimension of deluded that you can be. And not only that, he has the people that call in to his show and ask him questions that he claims are anonymous investors. It's clearly just a script. He throws these questions in so that he can give himself more opportunity to talk. Now, there's a reason why I bring this guy up. I've mentioned him in the past many times, called him scammer, a fraudster, said his rockets are poorly designed and don't work, and his car production destroys the planet, all things which are true. I've accused him of being a Chinese communist agent and a spy, who is against American democracy and Britain, which is true. But that's not the main reason why I like to mention him. The main reason why I like to mention him is because, in my view, he's one of these new, low-ranking Illuminati people. Like, that's how he has all that money and all that power. And he has, like, a wave of fans, adulating fans, all bowing down to stupid speeches. They were put there, and he was put there, in order that he can control the lemming masses with his statements and his ex. <laughs> and it seems to be working pretty well. He's got loads of fans. Um, despite the fact that none of his companies make any profit. He, Tesla, right? Tesla is the only company I've ever seen in my life that dives in value, drops in value, sells no products, has no new products to build, and only has a liturgy of failures to show in their research and development department. He has products like supervised full self-drive. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, if you're supervising it, it's not self-driving, so it can't be full self-driving if it's also supervised, right? So that's his newest thing, version 12 full self-driving, star supervised, as in you can't not, you can't leave it to do its own thing on full self-drive, it'll crash. You have to supervise it. So the fact is, that's why I call him a scammer. All his products fail, his companies all fail and lose money, and when they do, like he has just done, he pumps the share value and then sells off a load of stock, primarily the only reason he's got any money in his pocket since his entire net worth is completely speculated on things he is in debt for owning i.e. they lose money, there's no real cash behind them and in conclusion it's only going to get worse so just keep that in mind Elon Musk, yes he's got a lot of fans yes he is like supposedly one of the richest people on the planet a super genius but then look at his products Teslas. They can't drive themselves. They've got the worst performance of any car on the market. The batteries don't work in the cold. They're super expensive for the fact that they're cheap. They look horrible and the interiors are cheap. And you have to sign a non-disclosure agreement when you buy the car. So if you crash the car, it's never going to be Tesla's fault. Even if it's full self-driving, you should have been supervising it and you've signed the non-disclosure so it's always going to be your fault no matter who you plough into, child you run down no matter if the battery goes out in front of a train track and you get hit by a train for whatever reason it is, it's your fault his rockets either blow up, fall out the sky, sink into the sea or don't even get off the pad each one of his launch pads is completely destroyed as is the nature reserve which is like two miles away from it now that's a completely different story and to top it all off, he thinks the next generation of AI products that are going to sweep the world and revolutionise us all is going to be Optimus Robot. Now, have you seen Optimus Robot? It's literally like, uh, it's like a 97-year-old man robot that needs to be chain-linked to the ceiling so it doesn't fall on its backside. And it has a little Chinese guy with a remote control behind a curtain with a forward and backward. That's all it does. It just waddles forwards and backwards. It can't do anything. So why do people think it does things? CGI. That's it. His whole career is based on lies and CGI and Chinese misinformation and propaganda. So just remember that Elon Musk, as his company results will suggest, is doing this, speculating on a downward curve from his fucking worthless scam companies. But he's pumping the share price nonetheless so he can sell the company and live off the proceeds. And that's the end of this video. So I hope you enjoyed that. Watch out for Elon Musk and other Illuminati scamsters, uh, Chinese spies and the like. Keep your eyes out for them. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> yes.
So there you have it, Elon, King of the Mouse Mines, the biggest, most prolific scammer of our time. Elon Musk, the multi-planetary imperator of Mars.